Hello friends, we are doing the absolute most today. So I don't know if you guys know this, but I have an addiction to bubble tea. I love bubble tea. Oh my God, a good milk tea will make my whole year. I love the Oreo milk tea. I love the muddy milk tea, which is like that brown sugar milk tea. I love just regular black milk tea. I love the cheese foam on top. Oh my God, I'm like drooling already. So anyways, I got some bubble tea last night. It was bomb. I'm just like, let me recreate this. Last week I went to the Asian grocery store and I picked up this. I think there's probably a big reflection on it. If you can't see it, it's tapioca. And we're gonna make it today. We're gonna try and make, no, we're gonna succeed. We're going to successfully make a brown sugar milk tea with tapioca pearls. Let's go. Oh, it's not on. Okay, so why am I ill? Let me wait, let me wait. All right, so now that we're in my kitchen and my kettle has stopped screaming at me, kind of, it's still yellow a little bit. We're making the tapioca. There's so much in here. Like I am having one milk tea. It's like vacuum sealed. I don't know if I can use it if I don't use it all today. Oh my God, I just crushed it. I just crushed so many of them. Oh, they're delicate. They're delicate little flowers. Look, I just crushed a whole bunch of them. Sorry, tripophobia, trigger warning. So what I'm supposed to do is put two liters of water, but I'm only gonna put one because like I said, I'm making half. I'm not gonna make half. I'm gonna make less than half. I'm gonna, nah, this is what I do, okay. Yeah, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put half a liter of water and um, a quarter of the package, okay? It smells so good. Oh God. Stir a pack of tapioca from package into two liters of boiling water. Cook the tapioca for 25 minutes in mid fire. Is it mid fire? Yes. Stay the cooked tapioca in pot 20 minutes with. <laughs> okay. So, huh? Okay, okay, okay. So I think this doesn't really make that much sense. I cook it for 25 minutes, I turn the heat off, and then I let it chill there for another 20 minutes. Damn. And then I rinse it with cold water. Okay. But in the meantime, we're gonna make our brown sugar syrup. And, um,. I guess I'll show you my milk tea. I'll show you the milk tea. So this is the black tea. I steeped it overnight. I used some random tea that like I stole from my parents' house that really tastes like a milk tea from bubble tea shops. Then I just steeped it in hot water and I let it sit in the fridge overnight. And what I'm gonna do when we're finishing the drink is like add some cream to it and finish the drink. We're gonna make brown sugar syrup. All right. Forgot about that, so um, I can literally knock someone out with this and give them a concussion. My noise complaint ass neighbors are probably gonna like say something. I heard knocking at 3 p.m. the other day, assholes. Let me see if there's a way to soften, how to soften hardened brown sugar. Oh my God, am I supposed to put a lid on that? Put the hard rock brown sugar in a microwave safe bowl, lay a moist paper towel on top, and microwave for 20 seconds. Okay. This is intense. Like what? And now we wait. It's definitely working. Let me show you. I'm getting sugar out of it. Oh wow, oh my God, this is so satisfying. Okay, that's enough, oh my God. Okay, I just learned something new. We have some brown sugar right here and we have some more over here. So this is how the tapioca is looking. So now it says to combine equal parts of brown sugar and water into a pan. And we have a little pan here. So in five minutes, I can take the tapioca off the heat. Right now, I'm working on this syrup. Ooh, I'm so excited. Oh my God, this is so fun. This better be good. What's the next step after? Oh yes, the party-sized tapioca box has all the instructions. Stay the cooked tapioca in pot 
20 minutes with covers. So I'm gonna turn the heat off in like three minutes and then I'm gonna put the cover on and let it do its thing. This is what the syrup is looking like so far. I hope it gets a lot thicker. I think it will. I'm covering the tapioca. All right, I'm back. And it is time to assemble. So I have my brown sugar syrup. I don't know if you can see what is there. Ooh, I'm so Okay, I'm thinking what I wanna do is like, I wanna like, what's the, what's the word? Drip? Drip, I wanna drip. I'm <laughs> Oh, it doesn't look thick enough. Oh, maybe I should let it sit for like five minutes. Okay, I'll make the milk tea in the meantime. I'm gonna add a little bit of cream and a little bit of oat milk. So just a tiny bit because cream, it's whipping cream, it has a heavy taste. This brown sugar is pretty thin. It's not life-changing, you know? I thought it'd be like, kind of life-changing. I think I'm gonna make it in this cup. Like all over. It doesn't do shit. I thought it was gonna look like those times. What is happening? Nothing's happening. It just looks like a dirty glass. I'm pissed. I thought it was gonna look like this tiger, tiger, what am I even saying? What is happening? Okay, I'm gonna drain the tapioca now. Now I'm supposed to rinse it with cold water to remove the starch and stuff. So. Oh my God, I don't have a straw. Do I have one left over? Oh. <laughs> now I'm gonna add the tapioca to the brown sugar syrup. I mean, that wasn't in the direction, but I just feel like it's the right thing to do, you know? So I'm gonna let it sit in the brown sugar syrup. Look, my glass is completely... <sighs> What's happening? Okay. Do you want to add my tapioca or my... Okay, let's add the tapioca. And then we'll add the ice. I don't know why I'm so like upset right now. I haven't even tasted it. Like it might be the best thing to ever exist on this earth. You know? And some milk tea. Okay. Okay, let's try it with no straw. That is fucking sweet. Oh my God. That is so unbelievably sweet. It's not even funny. Because I don't have a straw. Let's try our tapioca. Very chewy. Okay, I guess that was a fail. What the fuck am I doing? That was a fail. Um, so, it's been days <laughs> since the bubble tea incident. I was really lying to myself and I've been thinking about it for days. That shit was chewy as hell. Like, I'm, let me show you like what it looks like. This is the tapioca and like I'm trying to cut it right now and it just like scratches the surface because you can't cut through something that's that hard. Do you see that? I'm like trying to cut it and it, that's how chewy it was. I need to redeem myself. I can't be over here talking about I'm a Michelin star chef and then pull up with that. Chewy tapioca, we're better than this. We are better than this. So today I'm gonna make strawberry milk with tapioca. I'm gonna redeem myself. 
I'm gonna hope that the strawberries have not gone bad. Let me let me check one sec. They're not the freshest, but we can work with this. And I'm gonna make my strawberry milky milk and I'm gonna make myself and you guys proud because you deserve that. I'm pissed off. I just checked on my tapioca and I stirred it and this is what we're working with. What is, what is this? What is this? What am I supposed to do? With this. Oh my god. Stir a pack of tapioca into two liters. I took a quarter of the pack and I put it in one. I think I did it wrong again. <sighs> okay, this is the moment of truth, guys. It's been 20 minutes covered after boiling. Where's my, where's my? Oh, I found one. Okay, I found a tapioca. <sighs> it's perfect. It's beautiful. Turns out oat is just a little too strong. Let's try the tapioca and the strawberry and just see how it tastes. Should have used macadamia milk. It's okay. The tapioca is really good. 